it's very much dynamically changing right now, increase of grafted plants uh, production and use in open field. Um, many years ago, it was mainly for greenhouse growers using grafted plants, but now I can see and we can see many more open field growers testing grafted plants, tomato and watermelon and other crops. So it's very interesting time and we all thinking that researchers need to collaborate with industries and work together to introduce this um, environmentally friendly technology to the industry to support them. Some of the advantages of grafting includes uh, disease and pest resistance and then also increasing vigor of the whole plant and then um, by doing so you can expect yield increase and one unique application in processing tomato industry in California is grafting to increase the yield uh, and vigor and resistance to low temperature and drought um, because they have to use um, marginal land for production of vegetables. The price point of grafted plants is relatively high at this point because his, uh, traditionally it was used for high-end production of greenhouse growers. Um, however, we are expecting to um, uh, lower the cost as more um, uh, market increase and uh, um, uh, effort by uh, nurseries and uh, demand from the growers. So um, right now, the about 50 to one dollar per plant is uh, 50 cents to one dollar per plant is a uh, uh, sort of r the average cost range of grafted tomato plants and then also watermelon. Um, we want to see a little bit lower cost and uh, probably introduction of uh, mechanization in the nursery um, and also uh, better management of labor um, uh, can. Uh, contribute to reduce the cost further down.